is putting it into that type of water. because I thrifted this when I was thinking of getting a Ford and I was like, I'm manifesting this Ford. Like this came into my life for a reason. It's so freaking cute. But I think the tables have turned. I think we're going with a different option. I haven't had my own car ever and I'm waiting for this for a long time. So hopefully it pans out. If it doesn't, it was for a reason. Okay, coming. Potentially me and my future car. She's cute. Gonna need your guys' help with color though, because that is obviously very crucial. I'm honestly kind of thinking white. The white in this car is really cute, so. I mean, I haven't even driven it. Driven it? Driven it? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. First thing I'm doing today. I haven't even driven it yet, but. Mm. Camera sits flat. <laughs> Woo! Looks really comfy back here. I love how I start things off like super optimistic and then the news just hits me and they're like, oh, this is not gonna be a holly jolly vlog, Sarah. I'm very grateful for many things in my life, but um, apparently we're going into an even stricter lockdown that um, actually restricts me from going to thrift stores. So it's like one of the only things bringing me joy at this point. And I guess I don't need a car now because I will not be going anywhere for at least a month, so. Why well, pay it now when I can just pay it later? I think I'm hungry. So I will be preoccupied for the next month. We're gonna get Woo. some cute stuff. Do I buy more tie-dye? Are we heading into that type of lockdown? Probably not. This might be the closest I get to what I'm looking for. But I kind of wanted orange. Oh yeah. We got it. I don't care how much this costs, but this would look sick. This is the moment we've been waiting for since my birthday. Okay, blue and orange, for sure. And maybe one of these pink ones. Really trying to make the most out of this not so great news today. I mean, there's been good and bad. You know, could be better obviously, but hopefully the next time I start vlogging again, things will be better because the weird thing is whenever I put these vlogs up, they're they're quite delayed in time. Not quite, but like by two weeks. And apparently lots can change in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I kinda wanna take yours. See when you sh get it shaken. Look how much milkier it looks. That does look good. Mine looks bad compared to yours. Cheers. <laughs> Getting on the highway. Buckle up. <laughs> to go do a curbside pickup. I haven't heard that jingle in, mm, actually it wasn't that long ago. Thought I'd fill you guys in on the car situation. As we were leaving the dealership, everything was going great. I was sold on the car. I was like, I'm gonna be looking so cute, driving around, thrift tripping around where we can and just have the best time this summer with this car and like starting ASAP, starting now. And as we're leaving the really nice dealership man, he was like, oh no, I better go to Costco and stock up on things before they close. And I was like, wait, what? Come again, because keep in mind, this was like earlier in the morning. I hadn't really been on my phone much. <sighs> went to check the news and Toronto went into a more serious lockdown than the last one, considering stores are actually closed. That kind of postpones the car thing because if I'm essentially just gonna be like at home, I'm pretty much more than normal again this month, I don't need to be paying for the lease because I do plan on leasing this car. That's kind of the situation. I guess I have like a full month, <laughs> 28 days. Actually, we're down to 26 days, but I can sleep on this one for many nights and make sure it really is like the right decision for me. If it's really 
gonna pay off because the whole goal is like to get it to be more productive. Leave me your suggestions below. Cable's really turned from the start of this vlog again and that's just seems to be how life is going which is really why I haven't really planned a ton of stuff like any pop-ups or anything too in-depth with YouTube because this is this has been the life of an Ontario Ontarian. <laughs> Saw Macy from Blazed and Glazed go to this really just stunning thrift store slash vintage store in LA. Something that really stood out to me when she was posting these stories was the decor and like just the vibes of it and kind of reminded me of my office already. But something they did that I thought was really smart was they had these like fuzzy squares kind of in a checkerboard on the wall. I guess I'm just gonna cut at this and see where we're at. literally just securing them with safety pins, but I thought I had like a shit ton of these, but it turns out this is all we got. Okay, <laughs> I did my very best. Kinda cute. This is what happens when I do anything like artsy in my room, just in case anyone was wondering. I don't know why, I just got the burst of energy to try and hang the records on my wall finally that I've had sitting around for so long. I got these little acrylic like record hangers and I've been trying to drill these things into my wall for probably an hour and I think I've just given up because I think our walls are concrete so that's not gonna happen. I found in Daniel's studio, Shh. these, um, one just flew on the ground, mounting strip squares and squares. They are kind of working. So far, I don't want to speak too soon. I haven't put a record on it yet, but we have one going over there. I don't know what that is. Don't ask me. It's probably not going to stay. Kind of looks like me, you know? <laughs> hey Siri. The best of the Lennon sisters on Spotify. Okay, here's the Lennon sisters on Spotify. See, I like that car because it had a nice flat surface, so it'll be perfect for the vlogging. I haven't been down here this in a guy while. looks like Chris Clemens. Yeah. Mm, got some sunglasses. These might look really bad, but you know, this is what we're working with. I mean, they're not like horrible. Hey, how do we look? <laughs> I look like LMFAO, like the ant. Good thing I paid $14 for these, and good thing they look nothing like they did on Instagram. I will kick the vlogs back up again in a more like weekly vlog structure when things are looking a little bit more optimistic when we're out of this lockdown. To conclude this vlog, I will be showing you guys some things that I got in the mail today. Things that have been getting me through all the other stuff that's been going on, such as being locked back in my house and seeing everyone else in the world doing things and getting vaccinated. I ordered some things from Lisa Says Ga, which is a great sustainable female focused boutique online if you guys haven't heard of it. I love them. And the stuff also comes within like two days, which is very, very, very dangerous. So the first thing that I got was this huge alligator clip. These are apparently dead stock, which is really cool because obviously these are made of plastic and the more plastic that's put out there into the world, the less better it is for the planet, just kind of plain and simple. So I got this one in the lettuce green. I think it's so cute and actually fits all my hair. I've been struggling to find a clip that fits this thick hair, my friends, because believe it or not, my hair is tick. Oh, there we go. And then I picked up these shoes. I love the whole platform flip-flop look and I just think it's comfy, it's casual, it's gonna be great for summer. I never wear sandals because I don't have comfortable casual sandals, but I found these by Vegabond, which is a 
sustainable shoe brand. They're lightweight. They look really great on and the color of them is really cool. It's kind of like this ivory and I decided to go for this instead of black. I do have black sandals and black to me is just a little bit more dressy for in terms of a sandal. These I could see myself wearing just so casually with jeans and all that kind of stuff. So they were a pretty good price for a sustainable brand that's well made. I think they were around 150, obviously. It's expensive, but you're paying for quality, my friends. Excited to get these on. I still kind of want Birkenstocks, but do I need them? I don't really know. I also want to share with you guys a more affordable vegan option for shoes. These are definitely more dressy, but I'm actually working with Call It Spring on an Instagram post. So you guys will see these over there, but I thought they were worth a mention here because I can link them easily in the description for you guys. And they're actually made from recycled bed foam, which is so cool. See, they're also pretty, I mean, I've only worn them around my house, but they're pretty comfortable so far. And I just think they look super sleek. This is something I've been looking for, like this kind of thong, strappy, little, not super high heel that I could wear out in the summer. And they also sent over this huge box of like goodies with a mug, which is so big and good. I'm so I don't know how to speak anymore. I don't. It's big and good. And I'm excited for it. Great. Good job, Sarah. You got through that one. Also, David's tea. If you know, you know. The goat. And I'm excited for some sleepy teas. I'm going to go for a walk now in my favorite Aritzia bodysuit. It's definitely worth the buy. I wanted the Girlfriend Collective one because obviously they're a fully sustainable brand. Girlfriend doesn't ship to Canada, which is really unfortunate. And this was a good substitute. I love, I love, love, love. The fit of it. That's what I'm gonna do, and your sunglasses are making me mad. Honestly, the bad experience is a bad day. And yeah, don't worry, guys, you'll be seeing me soon in like some other vlog format videos, just not my day today because my day is a day.